Jamaica food was disgusting. Excuse me, sir, my miss. No boy face will look like nothing but the ice cream can disrespect Jamaican food. <laughs> no boy with them face will look like coconut drops can disrespect Jamaican food. Good summer! No. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl Pebbles. Thank you for always coming back to watch me. It's a pleasure having you here. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if my content interests you and also hit the like button don't forget to do that leave your comments in the comments section so that we can interact with each other yes 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 so tonight i will be talking about something different something that came across my screen the other day um something that was going viral and i i didn't want to react on this but uh because it's, it's it's kind of a sensitive a he she shibim kind of thing uh, you know but it's a trending topic and since it's slow on the streets in the yohanze village i thought hey why not let me react on this so anyway there is this woman or this couple on social media and they are very popular now i haven't watched them before but i've seen their you know faces like across my screen once in a blue moon and they didn't seem like something that i would want to watch so i just skipped over it but something piqued my interest recently when i saw that Jamaica food was disgusting. I, I couldn't get with it. I, I just, I couldn't get with it. You know, so even they fried chicken at their little, little mini, little, little generic KFC wasn't even good to me. Please don't make it seem like the Charles and I've never been on a vacation on a cruise trip because we have. Because if you've been watching us, y'all see we went to Hawaii last year and we went to Jamaica also last year too. So we've been on cruises and we've been on uh, results and stuff like that. And, you know, we went to Jamaica and I can say that Jamaica food was disgusting. I, I couldn't get with it. I, I just... I couldn't get with it, you know. So even they fried chicken at their little little mini little little generic KFC wasn't even good to me. But Jamaican food was just gave me a whole different taste, and I can't say that I did not like that. They did not. I mean, it was. Uh, and then not only that, um, the drinks they they don't have American liquor. They got Jamaican liquor, and they didn't have American, like, juices. They had Jamaican juices, and, you know, all of that tastes totally different from our American food. And um, it was not good at all for us. So I can say that food sucked. But on the cruise, I can say that they just didn't have what I want. I'm not going to say it, was, it didn't taste good. I'm just going to say they didn't have what we wanted. And uh, I guess if I could have got up in that kitchen and fried them from chicken, disgusting. And I can say, and I can say that Jamaica food was disgusting. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Where's Ashton? We're being punked. Jamaican food. I. I'll, uh, this is too easy. I'll just leave it alone. Uh, the professionals can take care of it. I'm trying to run a PG page over here. Maybe one curse words here and there, but. Miss Netta or Netta or Miss Netta. Or... Oh, Mrs. Netta. I think this is the first time I've seen her ever. But interesting. A lot of people talking about this person went to Jamaica and spoke badly about the Jamaican cuisine. And a lot of Jamaicans felt insulted because of it. And so they were going at her, e, she, it, she, bam, or whatever the case may be, because I do not know what the, what that is. It just looked like someone who needs to be starring in a duppy show instead of having a TikTok and a YouTube channel with over 800 thousand subscribers i think they're almost at a million i could be wrong i can't remember something like that but i just know that they have a lot of subscribers and this is something that i've noticed on social media that if you 
practice buffoonery and act like an idiot on YouTube or other channels, social media channels, you get a lot of followers. Like people like me over here with my, oh, she's classy and she's this and she's well-spoken and you know, a lot of people will consider me boring. I have to act like a real buffoon for people to be like, oh my God, she's funny, let me go watch her because that's what people want to see, you know? Honestly, that's what people really want to see. No one is interested in anything that is boring. So because those people are considered different and they do silly things and they, they, they go places and cause commotions and stir up all sort of controversy and stuff like that, then they get a lot of followers and people love them. So this woman, man, has a whole lot of followers and they travel all over or wherever or do whatever and people just love them. So all this started when Netta, that's her name, they call her Miss Netta, but she also has a first name, um, Joe and she looks like a man so i'm not sure if it's a man or a woman but i will call her netta by the name that she's used i'm not calling her any miss nothing okay um went to jamaica with her husband joe no what is his name charles <laughs> see you can tell i don't watch them right because i can't even remember the name gosh <laughs> need to borrow her face for my Halloween costume. <laughs> Don't come for me for being judgmental tonight. She deserves it. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> went to Jamaica, went to a resort, had food at the resort, went back home, then did a live to say that. I went to Jamaica, gentlemen, to resort, and the food was horrible, horrible. Food was stink. Their, their, their food, even their little Kentucky Fried Chicken, it's horrible, horrible. And if it's one thing that people should know is you don't ever talk badly about Jamaica or Jamaicans. They will come for you. Let me tell you something. Jamaicans don't even get along with each other. The Caribbean islands, they really don't get along with each other. But let them fight each other. You as an outsider, an American, don't come in and think that you can say something to them and the other islands are not going to jump in and help them. Other Jamaicans are not going to jump in and help that person who you said the bad thing to. Even if they just finished fighting, they're going to jump in and help. That's how the Caribbean islands are. So all the Caribbean islands came together and they were in this net of inbox and they were on her channel. And they gave her the water, water. They gave it to her. They put her in her place. And apparently she has this new seasoning. I don't know who on God's earth would purchase seasoning from that. I just don't know who would purchase seasoning from her. But she has this seasoning line and people started doing the reviews on the seasoning and started giving the seasoning bad reviews. So she's losing money now. And that forced her to come back on her TikTok to give a lame apology like they always do, don't they? a very lame apology to the Jamaican people about their food. My deepest, I want to give my deepest apology to the Jamaican communication, communicate people. And I want to let them know that I apologize for saying that their food was bad. I didn't mean it like that, that their food was bad. What I meant was that the result that we stayed on Food was not good at all. But I did not mean to you guys that y'all have bad food and y'all food is nasty. I did not mean that. So any of y'all that's watching, that's going, thinking about going to Jamaica, the food ain't nasty. Just don't go to the resort I went to. Just stay away from the results. Go to the restaurants and stuff like that. Don't eat their food. Because I guarantee you, I, I promise you, if our cars and stuff would have been working, we would have been at a restaurant in Jamaica. Okay? But we couldn't, so that was our fault. It wasn't Jamaican fault or nothing like that. That was our fault. But again, I'm sorry. I want to give my deepest apology to the Jamaican communication, communicate 
people and I want to let them know that I apologize. Oh, there's a crazy internet rumor going around right now that the reason why the Lord of the Bumps, aka Komodo Dragon, aka Miss Netta, apologized to the Jamaican community is because Vibes Cartel sent Miss Netta a voice note and cussed Miss Netta out. That's what the internet is saying. That's I don't believe that rumor. I can't even believe I'm putting Vibes Cartel and Miss Netta in the same sentence. Vibes Cartel and Miss Netta don't belong in the same sentence. The real reason why Miss Netta apologized to the Jamaican community is because it was scared. It was scared of the Jamaican community, the way how the Jamaicans were eating it up. Secondly, the word apology or apologize or sorry is not in the Jamaican vocabulary. Right now, there's a Jamaican out there probably hearing the word apology for the first time. Apo uh, Apollo what? What? What what is apology? That don't that don't exist. And then lastly, Miss Netta, stand on business because we heard it from the Komodo Dragon's mouth. We heard it from the Komodo Dragon's mouth itself. You said that Jamaican food was disgusting. I, I couldn't get with it. I, I just, I couldn't get with it. Now you're backtracking and saying, no, what I was saying was the food at the hotel was disgusting. No, that's not what you said. So the Lord of the Bumps, when Jamaicans don't like you, they don't like you forever. Take your apology and go pop your bump them, your bump apology, your pop your bump them, pop them and go yam them. As we all know is that Jamaican cuisine is sort of a fusion of, uh, from many different countries. Remember that the Spanish brought in um you know their own little flavor which would be like the vinegar and you know that's why escovish fish is so popular the africans brought in the kalaloo and the aki and then we made our national dish the aki and salt fish then the english you know they brought in you know the sugar cane kind of stuff and then we came up with the jamaican white rum and then the Asians, they came with the curry and all that stuff. And that's how you get curry chicken, curry goat, curry everything, right? So it's sort of a fusion from all these different cultures, from all these different places that dates all the way back to slavery. And so people in the Caribbean, they take their food seriously. Any of you, and I know a lot of you people on my, um, a lot of you subscribers are from the Caribbean, and you can attest to this, that Caribbean people, they take their food seriously. The minute you meet a man, the first thing he asks you, can you cook? Because they love their belly, and they love their food, and they love a woman who can cook. And it's an embarrassment if you can't cook and you're a Jamaican. Trust me. Okay, it's an embarrassment. So they take their food seriously. So when you talk badly about Jamaicans and their, their food, um, or the Caribbean in general and their food, it's going to upset them. As a matter of fact, Jamaica won some culinary award in 2023. They also won in 2022. So for sure, take it from me. I love Jamaican food, not just because I'm a Jamaican, but I love Jamaican food and I know a lot of non-Jamaicans, Americans, I should say here, that loves Jamaican food. Loves Jamaican food. So Netta pissed a lot of people off. She stepped on a lot of toes and right now she is, she's hurting for it. So I will leave some of the comments here. <laughs> How people really 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 dissed her i am not sure how much of you saw this video with this override plant when it burn up behaving the most way talking about how jamaican food tastes disgusting and jamaican food don't taste good but me no blame you still you know because you're coming from a place where it is nothing but pure processed food Nothing that's not right naturally. Nothing that's not grow naturally unless you don't live in a certain part of the country where you can plant your own food. But other than that, a pure friggin' processed food filled with fertilizer and steroid and all these things. So when you come to a tropical country like Jamaica, the food has got to taste different to you. So it comes to the conclusion that you obviously you don't know what good food tastes like. Because all of your life, you probably eat all of them processed food. And that's why you freaking look so, you know. 
because me can identify your gender if you're a friggin man or you're a woman transmission she they them he is me don't know where you be you're wrong for that you're wrong for that and nobody come come apologize because you don't say what you say already but if you visit jamaica and you're staying on a resort resort you are not go get the same authentic jamaican food that you would get outside of the resort so me no know which part of jamaica you come or which hotel or wherever you go me no want to know that but you're wrong for your talk about say oh jamaican food tastes disgusting like you don't know what good food tastes like you don't know what good food tastes like so you don't go come with no bullshit all the time try to attack Jamaica just because you probably want the little hype and the little clothes or you probably want to go viral because you have a platform with must be about 800 and 1000 people upon you and yet still no come and look clothes off a little little Jamaica where we have the good authentic food, the good good nice food on you you're wrong sir or miss whatever transmission you're wrong for that Barthel spell Barthel Barthel because you look like you need one. You look like you need the soak in some salt and vinegar. It's alright, we have your own opinion. And Miss Netta says she don't like Jamaican food. Alright, fine. But then, at the way oh Miss Netta talk, Miss Netta talk and Miss Netta skin up her face, Miss Netta look like one of the bullfrog them were across the road and never make it cross the road. Miss Netta look like a scotch bread that have been used for 10 15 years non stop. You look like somebody needs to stuff your back in your mom and make your barn again because something not right. You look unfinished. Dirty. The audacity. After Miss, Miss Netta comes out, they go like she want food pies with Charles. Poor Charles. Miss Netta. You know, so from me a little bit new, <clears throat> there's been this unofficial, unwritten law um, that you cannot say anything bad about Jamaica unless you are jamaican even if you are jamaican and you say nothing about the people they must still turn down upon you and cuss you but the rule is you cannot say anything bad or negative about jamaica unless you come from down jamaica don't start to your don't start don't say nothing bad about we don't say nothing bad about our culture don't say nothing bad about our food don't say nothing bad about nothing where you come from jamaica because it don't come from down there now miss netta learned the hard way so she never did say nothing bad about the culture yet though, because it's one thing with jamaican people whenever it comes to anybody disrespecting us and our culture everybody will come together we could have ate each other we cuss each other we fight each other but once you come come say something bad we're together man the cohesiveness is is is, is unfathomable may i tell you we can't fathom the 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 the, the level of cohesiveness so where we are going to have you come come cuss you because we're going to cuss you back we're going to cuss you if you're not come from down there don't send on the boat down there just don't do it miss netta you hear the word i call you miss netta because miss netta you went to our cousin country and you come back on this app and you say our cousin country the food is nasty miss netta did our cousin send for you to come there miss netta you stayed in a resort and even if you stayed in a resort miss netta the food you don't mess with our cousin miss netta when you mess with one cousin you mess with all the cousins on this app. Miss Netta, like I said, did our cousin send for you to come? Or you come there on your own? Miss Netta, when it comes to our cousin's culture, when it comes to our cousin's food, Miss Netta, we make our food with love. We make it with love, Miss Netta. Miss Netta, don't come to our country. Because we didn't send for you. And if I was an immigration officer and you come to our other cousin's country, like Barbados, St. Vincent, Grenada, Guyana, Trinidad, hmm? I will stamp your passport, return back to sender. Miss Nana, 
Did our cousin send for you or you went there? And you then come back on this app and give a, some kind of floozy apology. Miss Netta, don't mess with our cousin. Because when you mess with one cousin, you mess with all the cousins. Because every cousin make their food with love, Miss Netta. You understand? So like I said, don't mess with us. Because we don't play with our food. We don't play with that. You mess with the wrong cousins, Miss Netta. Because we will bring you to the front. And class you, Miss Netta. You know something? I went on the internet just a while ago. Never planned to do a video. But I went on the internet just a while ago. And I'm going to tell you something. I am a Jamaican. But me, I tell you, say, me afraid of Jamaican when it comes to their mouth, you know. Yes, when it comes to Jamaican mouth, we dangerous. I don't know if you heard about, you see this thing trending with this woman named Miss Netta who came to Jamaica and she ate some food here and She's saying that Jamaican food don't taste good. In other words, it's it, it despicable. I mean, I tell you. Now, first of all, honestly speaking, and I'm not ridiculing the, 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 the person, because even now I am not, I say miss, but I'm not certain if it is a man or a woman. It looks like a man, but talks like a woman. So I'm not quite certain. However, the Jamaican them done her or him. Done her. I've never, I've heard some words coming out of the mouth of some Jamaican. I mean, I say, Lord God, I wear them people, I get them a sing thing out of their mouth. If you tell people. You don't want, listen to me, Miss Netta. You don't want a Jamaican to curse you. I'm going to tell you the truth. Me never know, say, so we mouth wasi. May I tell you the truth. Me never know, I've never known that I saw Jamaicans are descriptive when it comes to describing people who they are disgusted with. I never know. Me live here for years. I mean, no, say so you have some serious people in Jamaica when it comes to their mouth. But me never know, say so that deep. May I tell you? However, this is my advice, though, to you, Miss Netta. It's when you go to people's country and you eat their food, even if you don't enjoy the food, be careful how your words come across. Because what you are doing is disrespecting people's culture. What you are doing is disrespecting people's life. So you see, we jerk chicken and we ackee and saltfish. And we rice and peas and we fry chicken. And all of them something there. And we KFC at them that we grow up on. We grow up on these things. It's a part of our lives. So for you to come and disrespecting our food, trust me, you are going to, these people, people are going to unleash their weaponry, their ammunitions, and whatever comes out of their mouth or comes to mind, they are going to unleash it at, at, at you. So don't trouble Jamaican and them food. And not just Jamaica. Anywhere you go and eat people food. 
If you don't like it, just go away about your business and just do not criticize or, you know, scorn what people put down their system because I feed them food that. That's their food. All right? But, you know, guess what? That's what they get. That's what they get for trying to think that you can go to any other country, any other island to be disrespectful of, you know, other people's food and uh, people like them. They shouldn't be traveling. They should tell them yard. Where them I go? They should stay at their yard. If you want to go to Jamaica because her excuse is, oh, they didn't have any American food. They didn't have any American drinks. Why would you want to go to another country looking for American food? That's like me going to India and tell them I'm not going to eat the food here because um, I need American food. No, this reminds me of Ayamawa, doesn't it? <laughs> This truly reminds me of him because that's what he does. He goes to Argentina and he can't live without Ugali. Like these people need to, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say travel more because there are people who travel to different places, different countries, and still they can't become accustomed to other types of food. Like widen your palates, widen your palates. These are the type of people when they go out at a restaurant, they eat the same thing every single time. They're not accustomed to anything. They're back a bush type of people. Because if you look at Netta, you can see that those people, they're back a bush people. They're not accustomed to anything. And even if you, you put, put it in their face, what they want is McDonald's and the junk food, you know? <laughs> they're not accustomed to the organic type of food that is, you know, Netta. She's not accustomed to organic type of food, I guess. That's what she's not accustomed to. She wanted a different type of macaroni because the macaroni and cheese was not the watery macaroni and cheese that she's accustomed to. The drinks is natural fruit drinks and stuff like that. And she's accustomed to Coca-Cola and Pepsi. The things that are killing them in America. That's what they're accustomed to. And so when they travel, that's what they want. And if you look at Netta, who cooks for her husband all the time, and you look at the food that she cooks that I will leave right here, the hamburgers, that's the stuff that they're accustomed to. And they travel, and that's what they want when they travel. So people like them shouldn't go anywhere. Stay up on a yard, okay? Tana on a yard. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. <laughs> and I'm begging you, Miss Greater Fear. So your face look like well, them say Greater Cake and Drops. <laughs> You look like greater cake and drops to so have the nerve to be talking about Jamaican food. We can't borrow your mask for um for Halloween. While I'm sitting up here talking to y'all about something. I can be talking to y'all about some important stuff that I got going on, okay? About this season, right? That's what people, that's what bosses do. We, we create businesses, okay, right here. My chicken season, y'all see that pitch up there? Y'all see that pitch up there? Y'all see it? That wasn't mine. We're going to be ready to pre-order by the end of this week. We're going to have all my season. Now, this is the chicken. I'm going to have beef. I'm going to have a uh, hamburger season. I'm going to have all-purpose. And we try to work on the seafood uh, season um, now. But I'm going to have all my season going to be on my website. They're building my web. They are building my website. Don't come for me, okay, for being bad tonight. She deserves it. She deserves everything, every lashing that she is getting, okay? Don't come for me for being judgmental. I don't normally look at people like that and say things like that, okay, at normal people. But this one, no, she deserves it. If you're going to be nasty to people and be rude and be mean, expect people to be rude and be mean to you as well. Point blank and period. So, Netta, Jamaicans do not want your apology. The Caribbean ask you to please take your apology and stuff it in one of the holes within your face, okay? <laughs> Let me behave. <laughs> I forgot I'm classy over here. <laughs> Let me behave, okay? <laughs> Guys, so I'll leave the clip. Tell me what you think of this entire situation. 
Um, tell me if you think that the Jamaicans are overreacting um, about what this lady said. I mean, everyone has their own opinion. I don't think they're overreacting. That's just how Jamaicans are. I'll be honest with you guys. That's that's just how Jamaicans are, especially when it comes to their culture. You can't say anything bad. You can't, even if you go there and you witness something bad, you can't say anything bad. Even me as a Jamaican, if I ever say anything bad about Jamaicans, I can tell you that people in my comment section will come for me, okay? I can tell you that. Why do you think that Dean Wango has to be so nice about Jamaican, Jamaican, Jamaican 24 seven? Oh, Jamaica, Jamaica, the land that people love. The day that she says something nasty about Jamaica, or the people there, she'll have to jump on a flight immediately. I can bet you that Netta can't go back to Jamaica. I can put my, they will not land her back in Jamaica. They, will, they won't stamp her passport. They will turn her around. They're not accepting her back in that country. So, you know, you have to be mindful sometimes of what comes out of your mouth and it's not what you say. I think she could have said it in a better way um, okay, I went to the resort. The food was not what I expected. Something like that, you know? Because I've gone to other countries before and I honestly didn't like the food. But who am I to go on social media to talk about how horrible the food was? I try to put it in a better way. Oh, I went, but, you know, I didn't enjoy X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. I am not going to make it seem like all the food in the country is horrible and these people are over there eating s-h-i-t okay I, I wouldn't do that i wouldn't do that that's she was wrong for that so it's not what we say it's how we say it that that is going to affect um someone else or it's going to affect a group of people so we just have to be mindful of that we have to practice mindfulness <laughs> i listened to lisa hannah this morning and she was talking about the word demure and mindfulness and that was a good lesson on my way to work just listening to her talk about that <laughs> okay guys so thank you for watching i know this is probably was a boring um a boring video today because i'm not talking about the mawas but hey nothing hot is on the street for me to talk about them nothing hot it's just it's boring honestly there is nothing going on that i need to talk about the baby's coming soon so we will have lots and lots and lots to talk about okay because don't if you think i'm not going to talk about them and the baby then you are wrong <laughs> you are wrong <laughs> all right guys thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button okay see you in my next video Bye bye